Hi, I'm Barbara Seely Brown, and this is Tom Beyer. We love to cook together. Welcome to Stress-Free Cooking. On today's show, we're going to be doing a roasted vegetable platter. And then we're also gonna show you different ways you can use roasted vegetables. We make roasted vegetables in our kitchen all the time. Our friends always love them, so we thought we'd share it with you. So let's start, Tom, would you mind? Okay. We're going to use some eggplant. We like to use eggplant, zucchini, bell peppers, onions, and some garlic. So we're gonna start out with a very sharp knife so that our vegetables look really nice once they're cut. And eggplant is like a sponge. So after Tom cuts the eggplant, we're gonna put it in this dish and we're gonna salt it. I always start with the eggplant so that the salt has a chance to bring out the moisture from the eggplant and the oil doesn't saturate the eggplant. That's perfect, looks great. So I will throw these in here. And then I always keep several bowls of salt and pepper on my stove. So I have one with black pepper and salt mixed together. I have one with black pepper and I have one with just salt. It makes it a lot easier when I'm cooking if I have my little bowls of salt and pepper ready for me to pinch as opposed to shaking a salt shaker over a hot pot. Great. So we're gonna use a variety of eggplant. We have a long thin Japanese eggplant. Then we're gonna use this graffiti eggplant, which is really pretty. Sometimes the lighter color eggplants tend to be a little sweeter than the really dark purple ones. Do you have a favorite? I like both of them. Well, that's good, since we have... Both. <laughs> and I love these little ones. This is a little Italian eggplant. These are really nice if you simply cut them in half, drizzle a little pesto over it, and put it in your oven and roast it. It makes a really nice, quick, easy dish. Good job. And you can see Tom is not lifting the, the knife off the board, only the end that he's holding on to. You really want to have that nice, graceful motion when you're cutting. And a sharp knife is your friend. A dull knife is actually more dangerous than a sharp knife. And this looks great. So once we get the eggplant in the bowl and salted, then it really doesn't matter what we cut up next. So we will use some sweet onions and we will use some zucchini, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, anything that you have in the house. You can roast carrots, but the thing that you wanna keep in mind when you're roasting vegetables is you want vegetables to cook at the same rate. So if it's a hard vegetable, you might cut it a little smaller than a softer vegetable that has a higher water content. Perfect, that looks great. Okay. What do you wanna do next? Well, move on to the onion. The onion, the onion. Okay. okay. All right. I'll take the rest of this. Great. And okay. I think this needs just a tad more salt. salt. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're gonna get ready to cut the onion. Now my secret discovery. <laughs> my ski goggles come in so handy when cutting the onions because no one wants to see a man crying. Actually, some of us might find it you rather might. endearing. <laughs> <laughs> but as an avid skier, I'm but glad you found another use this for those was, ski goggles. Uh, yeah, I discovered this accidentally because my eyes go tear so badly when I go near an onion. Well, and everyone asks, how do I keep my eyes from tearing? And there's all kinds of answers that you get. I've heard burn a match, which I'm not sure I want to do. No. Candles, cut it under running water. It's kind of hard to cut it under running water and feel safe with right. a knife. Um, they make onion goggles, but since we already had ski, ski goggles. goggles, that seems to work. So they're yeah. ski slash onion goggles. I would cut it in quarters. Okay. first, and then um, they might need to be cut one more time. So as, uh, I would cut them each one, one more time. time. So as long as we cut them the size that they will cook in the same amount of time as the eggplant, we're good to go. That looks great. And they'll fall apart when we toss them with the rest of the vegetables. They'll get nice golden brown edges on them, which makes it extra special. And okay. look, no tears. No tears. Wow. Great job, Tom. I love that discovery. <laughs> Okay, 
So the next thing is we're gonna do some bell peppers. Okay. Let's get rid of this. this. Yeah, let's clean up. I love to clean up as I go along. That way when I'm all done, I don't feel so overwhelmed. Cake Bread Cellars was founded in 1973 by Jack and Dolores Cake Bread. It's been famous for its warm, gracious hospitality and unmatched wines. They believe that life's occasions are elevated by good people, good food, and good wine, which flows through everything they do. Sharing these tenets and this journey with us not only brings great joy, but also gives motivation to always look to improve. They take great pride in sharing their family with our families. Oh wow, that is so delicious. I can really taste the floral. I have some peach notes in here. Well balanced. It's delicious. For more information about these wines, visit cakebread.com. So I'm going to cut a bell pepper, and when you cut a bell pepper, you pretend that it has four sides. So cut one side, cut the next, cut the next, and cut the fourth. And this way, I have the core intact, and all I have to do now is just cut my vegetables, shake off the seeds, and they go into the bowl. So I shake off the seeds. The other thing is, after you wash your vegetables, if you're gonna roast them, the drier they are when you cut them up and put them in the oven, the better off you will be. You'll get a nicer browning. Okay, and I usually cut this out. It's not mandatory, but it looks nicer. Okay, and let's go with our green bell pepper. Again, it has four sides. And it's nice and easy to end up removing the seeds and the core. So let's just trim this the best we can. Pop that in here. Want to give those a toss, Tom? Yes. And you can probably can feel that the moisture is coming to the surface of that eggplant by now. It really just needs a few minutes. Way back when, when it took longer to ship vegetables, you salted it to get rid of any bitterness that came from it. But nowadays, we get with transportation so much better in our world, we get our eggplant much quicker, and so it's I really salt it not to get rid of the bitterness, but to get rid of, or to bring out the moisture. So this is a yellow squash. I'm doing this for color. The yellow squash and the zucchini really taste about the same, but I like having a variety of colors. We like to cook with color. When we cook with color, we feel like it really makes our dishes look so pretty. Okay, that looks great. And let's see, we have everything in there? Yes. Let's see, how, do you think we need any more olive oil in there? Oil. Just a little more olive oil. And we also toss them in a bowl with our olive oil so we can use a little less. If we put the vegetables on the sheet pan and then drizzle the olive oil, chances are it wouldn't be as even and chances are we'd use more oil. So we like to be able to enjoy lots of treats so we try and cut down on calories wherever we can. Okay. Perfect. We have a sheet pan that's lined with parchment paper. You can buy parchment paper cut to fit your sheet pan online, or you can buy a roll of parchment paper in the grocery store. I like this because it doesn't roll up as I'm working right, with it. Right. And we keep a lot of it in the house because we use it for many, many uses. Cookie sheets, ba uh, roasting, baking. So we're just gonna take our vegetables, put them on the baking sheet. The trick to this is 
to have your vegetables in a single layer on the baking sheet. We don't want them piled up. If they're piled up, they'll, the ones underneath will steam and not roast. You want another sheet? Yes, please. So we could put, I would like to do two sheet pans today. And I will give you that to put in the oven. Thank you. And then we'll put the rest of these on this sheet pan. And make sure they're in a single layer again. So we're going to put these into a really hot oven. We cook them at 450 or 500 degrees. If you're not comfortable with that, you could do it at 400, 425. I love convection. Convection ovens have a fan. The fan circulates the heat. Things cook about 25% more quickly, and they also brown more evenly because of the fan. If you don't have convection, don't worry about it. Just cook them in your traditional oven setting anywhere from 400 to 450 degrees. The timing depends on the size of the vegetable, the freshness of the vegetable. I'll check those in about 15 minutes. I want them golden brown. For some of us, it may take 15 minutes, it could take 20. So I usually start checking them after about 15 minutes. We will clean up and when the vegetables are ready, we'll plate them and we'll show you different ways you can use them. Cake Bread Cellars was founded in 1973 by Jack and Dolores Cake Bread. It's been famous for its warm, gracious hospitality and unmatched wines. They believe that life's occasions are elevated by good people, good food, and good wine, which flows through everything they do. Sharing these tenets and this journey with us not only brings great joy, but also gives motivation to always look to improve. They take great pride in sharing their family with our families. Oh wow, that is so delicious. I can really taste the floral. I have some peach notes in here. Well balanced. It's delicious. For more information about these wines, visit cakebread.com. When our vegetables are done, one of the ways that I like to use them is to toss them with pasta and make a pasta salad. So I'm going to make a little bit of a tomatoey dressing for my pasta salad. I have some baby heirloom tomatoes of many colors, which I like to use because it looks very pretty. Since we eat with our eyes, I think it's nice to use a lot of different colors and textures. So we're gonna cut up some cherry tomatoes, and Tom, we're gonna need to sprinkle a little salt on those. If you salt your cherry tomatoes, or any tomato, you bring out the juice of the tomato, and they just taste much better. So I think a couple pinches of salt in there would be wonderful. And we could also put a little pepper in there, a little freshly ground black pepper. So we have a brown tomato. Some of them are very green looking. I love the yellow and the red. So we want nice color, nice variety of color. These are also great if you just toss the whole cherry tomatoes with extra virgin olive oil and roast them and soften them up. They really make a great base for cheese. And could you grab that basil plant, Tom, behind you? These cherry tomatoes came from Melissa's World Variety Produce. They always have such high quality produce that they're one of my favorite companies. In fact, the beautiful radicchio that we have is also from Melissa's. So we're gonna chop up some basil, and then I'll be adding extra virgin olive oil to this and some balsamic vinegar. And we'll just mix it up and it'll be ready to go on our pasta and roasted vegetables. I also like a little Parmesan cheese in here, don't you? Yes, I do. 
Yeah, you can go ahead and grab the Parmesan cheese, which is behind you. Okay. And we'll get all this ready. So then when the vegetables are done, all we have to do is mix everything together. I love do-ahead dishes. This will keep for a while. This is also a great party dish. This is a good dish to bring to someone's house because it travels well. It doesn't need to be refrigerated. There's really nothing in here that will spoil. Okay, if you want to give me about a couple splashes of extra virgin olive oil, a little more, and a nice little splash of that balsamic vinegar. And we use about half as much vinegar as oil. Okay, good. And a couple, a little bit of that cheese. Just drop some in here. Keep going. A little more. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, and we'll toss this. And this will be all ready for to toss with our roasted vegetables. While the vegetables are cooking and this is sitting, the flavors will meld and it'll be really wonderful, really delicious. Cake Bread Cellars was founded in 1973 by Jack and Dolores Cake Bread. It's been famous for its warm, gracious hospitality and unmatched wines. They believe that life's occasions are elevated by good people, good food, and good wine, which flows through everything they do. Sharing these tenants and this journey with us not only brings great joy, but also gives motivation to always look to improve. They take great pride in sharing their family with our families. Oh wow, that is so delicious. I can really taste the floral. I have some peach notes in here. Well balanced. It's delicious. For more information about these wines, visit cakebread.com. Tom, I think the vegetables might be done. Do you want to give them a check? I will, thank you. I think it's been about 15 minutes, so they should be on their way to being done. Oh, great. So we have nice browning on here, and the onions have nice golden brown edges, just what I like. So we're just gonna pick up our parchment paper, and it makes it nice and easy to transfer them to our platter. They really, I mean, one or two might stick, but as a general rule, they don't stick. So, tray number two, perfect. Mm -hmm. I love the, I love how the onions get those I nice do too. I love charred it. edges. I love the taste of it. Wait, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, roasted vegetables. These could be a side dish. I make these at Thanksgiving. Certainly, a lot larger quantity. Um, but we have beautiful roasted vegetables. Can I have that big spoon over there, please? Yes. Thanks. So this would be one way you could serve them, which would be just simply plain roasted vegetables, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. We could sprinkle them with a little freshly grated Parmesan cheese. We could also take some of these roasted vegetables and mix them with our pasta. So I think we'll do that. Let's make a pasta salad. So some roasted vegetables. This pasta was cooked to the al dente stage just a little while ago. So roasted vegetables and pasta salad. And Tom, you can put the dressing right on here. Okay. Okay. We also have our tomato dressing, tomato basil dressing. And then we'll just give this a toss. Runaway vegetables. Thank you. And so we're going to give this a little toss. And we have a beautifully colorful, flavorful, really healthy pasta salad. Yeah, it looks terrific. It smells good, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. Because also the hot vegetables will release some fragrances from the tomatoes as well. 
Do you want to sprinkle this with a little of that Parmigiano Reggiano that was freshly grated? Beautiful. That looks awesome. Perfect. Good. Okay, so we're going to set this aside and we're going to move on to one more dish, which would be a roasted vegetable wrap. Cake Bread Cellars was founded in 1973 by Jack and Dolores Cake Bread. It's been famous for its warm, gracious hospitality and unmatched wines. They believe that life's occasions are elevated by good people, good food, and good wine, which flows through everything they do. Sharing these tenets and this journey with us not only brings great joy, but also gives motivation to always look to improve. They take great pride in sharing their family with our families. Oh wow, that is so delicious. I can really taste the floral. I have some peach notes in here. Well balanced. It's delicious. For more information about these wines, visit cakebread.com. Lots of things you can do with roasted vegetables. We also like to make ourselves an omelet or a breakfast souffle with our leftover roasted vegetables. So we'll just take the wrap, place these in. You could use an Italian roll, a ciabatta, whatever you like. Okay, place these veggies in. Maybe um, a little bit of the Parmigiano Reggiano or even if you had some Asiago cheese would be very, very nice. Great. And if you have some balsamic glaze, you could put balsamic glaze in here. We're just going to use a little bit of the balsamic vinegar. Thanks. Just a drop. The flavors really do come out with that balsamic vinegar. So now we're just going to roll this up. The warm vegetables will melt the cheese. Do you mind giving me a knife, please? Yes, sure. Thanks. OK, so let's just give this a little cut. And we have a beautiful, colorful, roasted vegetable wrap. Looks terrific. What kind of wine do you think we should have with our roasted vegetables? Rosé. Oh, I love rosé. Okay. Great. All right, let's try a rosé. We happen to have a beautiful rosé from Cake Bread Cellars. I love the color of rosé. It's so elegant, so pretty. It's a great summer wine as well. This would, of course, be chilled. Thank you. Isn't that a beautiful color? It is. Look at that. It almost matches your my shirt. Your shirt. That's why I wore the shirt. <laughs> Do you always dress to match the wines? Exactly. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. <laughs> okay, let's have a little toast. Thank you. Oh, that is delicious. I really love Very the good. acidity level, the freshness, and the berry flavors that are in here. It's terrific. I'm Barbara Seely Brown. This is Tom Beyer. We thank you so much for watching Stress-Free Cooking. We are going to make a roasted vegetable pizza in our next show, so please join us. You can also find us on Facebook, Stress-Free Cooking with host Barbara Seelig Brown on Instagram at Stress Free Cook. Thanks so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again.